baby in the movie theater. Bad idea. Don't worry, Greg. I just fed him. He'll be good. Dharma, what's the point of your folks babysitting at our place if we've got the baby? It's a dry run. If they do good without the baby, then next time, who knows? Well, maybe the four of us can take the baby to the movies. If that baby cries, you owe me eight bucks. Don't worry. You won't hear a peep out of him. Not a peep. <laughs> Dharma. What? Honey, can you just a little bit? <laughs> but it's so sad. Right? I mean, she doesn't know the war and the vegetable garden that they planted together. <laughs> I know it's very sad. <laughs> no, no, get on the plane. Jessica still loves you. Here's, uh, here's ten. Keep the change. <laughs> I'm a lawyer. Mary, how many times do I have to tell you don't put on Greg's clothes? Oh, he'll never find out. Your Honor, in the matter of People versus Larry Finkelstein, I object! Uh, uh, <laughs> Is that my suit? What suit? <laughs> that suit. <laughs> Abby wanted to see how it would look on me. Don't blame me, Larry. I'll go change. Abby? Did you find my underwear? You know what, Larry? <laughs> Keep the suit. <laughs> my gift to you. Really? Thanks. Dharma, I don't mean to rush you, but if you want a Native American baby naming ceremony, the full moon is this weekend. Hold on, hold on. I'm not going to rub myself with tree sap and howl at the moon again. <laughs> what kind of ceremony is that? Well, when Dharma gave me my Indian name. Greg, did you not even notice that it was April 1st? <laughs> We better leave. <laughs> Bye. And listen, next time we babysit, you can leave the baby with us. Pretty soon. Bye, guys. I love you. Baby? We can't even leave our clothes with them. <laughs> Honey, I'm sorry about the tree sap thing. I thought it would wash right off. No, it's OK. Gave me that little push I needed to finally shave my arms. <laughs> what sweet feet? You're going to get a name soon. You know, about that, I was hoping that we could have a ceremony for the baby that was a little more conventional. Like what? Well, I don't know. I thought maybe we'd take him to my church and have him baptized. Since when do you have a church? I've always had a church. When do you go? On your way to work? <laughs> you go on the big holidays. Well, you didn't go Christmas or Easter. Because. Why are you hounding me about this? <laughs> Honey, if it's important to you, we'll go to your church tomorrow morning. I'd like to learn about it. Thank you. You're welcome. You know, even though I don't go to church a lot, I do pray. Well, what do you pray for? Uh, <laughs> well, if I tell you, it won't come true, right? <laughs> mi amigo en mi clase de español es alto. I'm very happy your friend in Spanish class is tall. Gracias, mi amiga. <laughs> Gracias. Mrs. Montgomery, you have a guest. Abby, how delightfully spontaneous that you never call. Thank you. Listen, I was hoping that you and I could have a little talk, granny to granny. Well, then, by gum, why don't we? <laughs> All right, now, you and I come from different backgrounds, <clears throat> and we've had our disagreements, you know, about the kids' wedding, Thanksgiving. Christmas, birthdays, politics, lunch. Yes, yes, yes. We're night and day. What's the point? Uh, well, I know both our families have certain traditions mm -hmm. when a baby mm -hmm. is born, and I thought maybe we could work things out beforehand so we don't have to bother the kids with our bickering. Well, that's very reasonable of you, Abby. So what, um, what sort of traditions do you have? Well, first, we dig a mud pit in a forest clearing. <laughs> to symbolize the womb of Mother Earth. And then everybody emerges from it one by one, reenacting their own birth. What? 
Greg, we've been down the street twice. There is no church here. It's here. <laughs> Where? If you keep talking, we'll miss it again. Well, now we're back at the bridge. And, and we missed it again. Oh, well, maybe it's under the bridge. Were there a lot of trolls at your church? It's just I never actually drove there. I was always in the back seat. Wait a minute. When was the last time you were at your church? It doesn't matter. I'll find it. Okay. <laughs> Would it help if you sat in the back and I drove around for a while? Now we know that driving around in circles puts him to sleep. Church must have moved. Well, maybe you can pray we find it another time. I swear there was a church there. There was a basement. We had cookies. I got sick at a pancake breakfast. Come here. Next Sunday. We'll get a phone book and a map and we'll try again, okay? Oh, and, and there was a, a, a carnival once, but... Somebody got hurt, and we never had it again. Dharma, we have a problem, and I want you to know that I'm trying to be a solution. Oh, please, what kind of a solution involves my husband and me crawling out of a mud hole? <laughs> you were a C-section, weren't you? Okay, then you don't have to do the mud hole. We'll just put a tent over you, and we'll cut a hole in the top and yank you up. You will do nothing of the sort. Hold on, can somebody start from the beginning? Edward Teller. What happened to shut up and drive? <laughs> your mother-in-law is being completely unreasonable. Wait, I said that we could have the ceremony behind your church. We are not going to dig a mud pit behind the oldest Presbyterian church in San Francisco. It's Episcopal, dear. <laughs> well, Dad, wh where exactly is our church? Why can't we just do separate ceremonies in separate places on separate days? Fine. As long as my baptism is first. I'm sorry, I can't move the full moon, and we're already late on the bris. Bris? What's a bris? Uh, well, it's like a christening, only a rabbi performs a ritual circumcision. Where? Where do you think? <laughs> well, they'll probably do it right here. They give the baby a little red wine on a handkerchief. Oh, think... please! You mean you're going to get my grandson drunk and perform surgery on him in the living room? You know, look, frankly, <laughs> Kitty, I don't believe in circumcision either, but when it comes to penises, Larry is very Jewish. <laughs> look, I have nothing against circumcision. Well, you should. It's very much a woman's issue. Uh, believe me, it's very much a man's issue. Uh... <laughs> There's gonna be one. I think it should be the father's decision. It's his penis. Why don't we just wait till he's 18 and it's all grown in and see if he likes the look of the rascal? A grown boy is not gonna want anything snipped down there. Down there? It's a penis. Just say penis. Well, I am not going to stand here while you people keep saying penis. You just said it. She'll say it, but she won't. <laughs> In a spirit of confidence. Oh, you came to me in a spirit of lunacy. All right, all right, hold it. Now Mama is going to talk. I want my son to share in his father's heritage and mine and yours and some of Larry's. <laughs> but I also want to expose him to Buddhism and Catholicism and Quakerism and Hinduism and piano lessons, Cub Scouts. Oh, Larry's going to have a big problem with Cub Scouts. Well, now Larry's not the mama, now is he? Okay, let's just focus on the matter at hand, the naming ceremony. Right, I say we have one ceremony and everyone brings the clergyman of their choice. Clergy person. Clergy person. Mm -hmm. Or a spirit. Abby. <laughs> Greg, what do you think? Uh, it sounds good to me, Mother. Fine. As long as nobody gets their way, I'm happy. <laughs> Good. Edward? What? <laughs> then it's settled. Now, who would like a nice cup of mellow moment tea? I would love one, Dharma. Thank you. Kitty? That would be lovely. Thank you. I have had it with you two gravy-sucking fat cats pushing us around. <laughs> Larry, we're done arguing. Oh. Nice shoes, Ed. <laughs> Thank you, they're casual, but I can wear them with trousers. I'll get the tea. <laughs> what I miss? 
Well, there was a tasteful druid ritual, and when Mother Nature here takes a cigarette break, we'll be down to a minister, a rabbi, and an Indian shaman. A minister, a rabbi, and a shaman? If I could get him to walk into a bar, I'd die a happy man. <laughs> I um, bless this child in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I wasn't done. <laughs> Who knew? Pahashka, oh Pahashka, un ki o pea hikile, o pila yelo. Now I'm done. Amen. We welcome this soul to the world and declare that for this lifetime he shall be known as Daniel Fergus. Sting, Thundercloud. Man Ray, Man Ray. Finkelstein, Montgomery. Boy, is this kid gonna be screwed up. <laughs> Want another cookie? Hmm. Well, thank you very much, Larry. You know, kitten? <laughs> I'm glad you're Daniel's grandmother. Oh, that's very sweet of you. Because you smell like France. <laughs> I do, don't I? <laughs> uh, Larry, may I have another one of your cookies? You've got one right there. <laughs> so I do. <laughs> I love you, I love you, I love you. Yes, Grandpa Eddie Bear loves you. <laughs> I never imagined you could be so open. Have to say these things now when they're young. So true. It gets damned awkward when they learn to speak. <laughs> so the bartender says, I was talking to the duck. <laughs> to the duck. Everybody okay? Can I get you guys anything? No, no, no. We're right. Right. <laughs> okay, here, here's another one. A rabbi, a minister, and the shaman are playing golf at Pebble Beach. <laughs> Which hole? <laughs> Which hole? Yeah. Have you ever told a joke? Have you ever heard a joke? Well, yes, I have. These are not questions. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Godmother. Hello, Godfather. I'm very honored that you've asked me to be the Godfather for your child. <laughs> Sometime I may ask you for a favor. It'll probably be for beer money or maybe a ride somewhere. 